So it's definitely that cookout time of the year and I'm sure you all have been seeing these corn ribs on the internet. I've been seeing them in a couple of restaurants in London as well. And I thought we would just put our own little spicy uh, Asian twist onto them. So to start off with, you need uh, two to three pieces of corn. This is gonna be actually the hardest part if you all have never seen how this is done. So be quite safe about this, and I've seen a couple of people do this now, but it is easiest to cut corn vertically down. If you want to try to cut it from the sides, it's, it's really, really difficult. So you want to be cutting it down and into quarters, okay? So now we're gonna work on that nice spicy, kind of like a cumin lamb type dressing. And so I have some citronese peppercorn, I have some cumin, I have some five spice, some garlic powder. Recipe is gonna be all down below. That was a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna put in about uh, one to two tablespoons of oil. Here I'm using uh, the rapeseed oil that I've used before and the mixture is going to seem a little bit dry at first, so I'm going to add in about, I'd say, like a half a cup of water just to get this nice and runny so that it will be able to coat all of our corn. This process is probably best done with your hands. Um, you can do it with gloves if you want, but you just wanna make sure and get it inside all of the kernels and everything nice and coated. And then I'm gonna just leave it here for about 15 minutes so that the corn can soak up all of that uh, sauce goodness. And then uh, I'm actually gonna be air frying it 190 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. And if you don't have an air fryer, feel free to just do this in an oven. You just wanna make sure to flip it halfway in between so that the corn gets nice and toasted um, on both sides. So it's really that roasting that dries up the cob a little bit and then it makes the corn curl in. And I just topped it off with the usual suspects, some coriander, some toasted sesame seeds, and also some peanuts as well. And I also have some Chinese chili oil on the side for anybody that is interested. And it is just so like savory. It reminds me very much of cumin lamb and that, that spice rub is delicious.